is up everybody? Today I'm going to do a little bit of a different video. I'm going to be dyeing my hair because as you can see it needs some help and it's a little frizzy so I'm hoping it doesn't um, totally dye. I'm using semi-permanent so it shouldn't be that bad. But yeah, we're going to see if this is a hair dye fail because I'm actually going to be using a different brand of hair dye that I'm used to. I'm used to Ion Color Brilliance and it's the Brights Semi-Permanent Intensive Shine Sapphire. This is the one I have on my hair right now and it is a semi-permanent, but it has liked to last more than three months, which is great. But my ends, as you can see, are like a light blue and the top is like a darker blue. And when I originally get this done, it's like a really, really dark blue. But I only have one of these. It normally takes three to four of these to dye my entire hair because of how long it is. But we're gonna try the Eero Eero brand. And I have never tried this brand before, and apparently people compare it to Manic Panic. Manic Panic doesn't stick in my hair, so I'm gonna test strand this and see what happens. If it works, I'm going to be putting it all over my hair today. But we're gonna start with my roots, because they are really bad. So I'm gonna bleach my roots. And I know that that part's not gonna be a color fail, but this right here might be a color fail. So Brand Mondo, you can come for me. <laughs> Also, technique, there is none, so whoops, but it works. I get full coverage. So the lightener I'm gonna be using today is Prism Lights Blue, and I got this at Sally's. Focus. And I'm doing the blue one because my hair's going blue. So it makes more sense to do this than the purple one or any other brands that you may have. Um, I also just prefer the blue one. So I got my gloves because you're dumb if you don't use gloves. You should always use gloves. I'm using 30, to vol 30 volume developer because my roots are so dark. And I'm going to probably leave it on for less than recommended. And it's a one to two ratio. So I'm using a one to two ratio for my bleach. One part bleach, two part developer. Cool. And then I have a nice creamy consistency. It's not too runny. And now, time to section. And my sectioning, don't come for me, is not good. So, we're just gonna dive right on in and try and do this.
my hair is dry, bleach is out, and you can see it's lightened my roots. I let it in for 30-ish minutes, 30, 35 minutes, I don't remember. It was, I set my timer for 30, let it sit for a little longer. But as you can see, my roots are a very, very nice blonde. And on this side, you can see it too. I'm not sure about the back, but yeah. So, you know, my lack of technique works pretty well. Thank you, cat. So yeah, now I'm going to test a strand of my hair with that new dye and see how well it sticks. If it doesn't stick, I'm returning it and then getting the appropriate hair dye. So this might go over until tomorrow. Well, the good news is, is it smells really, really good. My husband thinks I'm talking to him. A really nice blue texture and color. All right, and now we're gonna let this sit and see how it washes out. Hopefully it doesn't fade super quick like Manic Panic does in my hair, because Manic Panic usually washes out in like seven washes. So I'm going to wash this really good after I let it sit and see if like all of it comes out like it normally does. Actually, Manic Panic washes out in like two or three washes for me. So we will find out. So I just rinsed it out and I'm very impressed actually. There was no color drainage at all in the sink and I was rinsing it under freezing cold tap water. So I think we are a go because that looks pretty good. I left it on for 35 minutes. Yeah. All right, let's do the rest of my hair this color. So this is the before color and this is gonna be the after. I'm excited. Right now I'm putting on a satin barrier cream by Ion and that will prevent blue from getting all over my face but guess what, it's still gonna end up all over my face. So it's fine. This is to just help prevent how bad it's going to get. But it's still gonna be pretty bad.
so does the next day and my hair is amazing i absolutely love it it turned out perfect and i only used the Iro Iro brand and i didn't need any of the other one so two of those covered my entire hair my roots look amazing it covered really well and then in the back i think it covered just as well so yeah i'm pretty impressed i really like it you can see for my uh lack of technique i think it, it turned out pretty pretty good my kitty just made a noise sorry if you heard that but yeah, I'm severely impressed and I'll probably be using this brand from now on. I will have to see in a few weeks if it fades really quickly or not. Hopefully it doesn't. But yeah, um, I'll leave links to the Sally website for everything that I got. And Brad Mondo, if you come for me, that's fine. <laughs> have a nice one, guys. Please like and subscribe. I know the videos I've been doing are a little different, but if you liked it, please subscribe because my like to view ratio and subscriber ratio is pretty low but yeah if you didn't like this video let me down or let me know down in the comments below and have a good night